and arranged to see him. So I went down to the masjid, uh, went into like an, his little office, um, sat in his office. He asked me a few questions, you know, what do I want to do in life? You know, there are quite a lot of questions for us for about an hour. And at the end, he was like, and it's funny when I look back now because I was like, I'm not ready to do it yet. I need time, I need time. And every time I take my do dawah, that's what everybody says. I need time, I need time, I need to do this. I need to learn the religion more. But he said to me, no, you should do it now because in the actual words what he said to me is if you leave here and die, you know, you'll regret it because once you accept Islam, all your sins are forgiven. And if you accept it now, it's the best time to accept it. You don't need to be the perfect person now. And that's what I kind of thought I had to be. I thought I'm not kind of worthy to be a Muslim now. I need to, you know, I need to stop drinking alcohol. I need to do stop doing all these things, which Alhamdulillah, you know, when I came into Islam and I took my shahada, you know, I never did any of those things again, which again proves to me that, you know, Allah is there with me because I tried to stop these things for, for probably 12 years and I couldn't. And just by saying one statement, I never did them again, you know, and that, I don't, that's not through my you know, Allah gave me that will to do that because I tried for 12 years to stop smoking cigarettes, stop drinking alcohol. I wasn't ever a massive alcoholic, but I tried for many years to get away from these things. And as soon as I said that statement, I never, never, ever, I've never done it. You know?